could see very early on that he is a very bright child. My mother, his grandmother, always said that she, he is going to do great things. Vitalik is a genius in many things, computer science, in mathematics, in cryptography. Everyone sees Vitalik as, as a leader. That's Vitalik right there in the middle. In the school yearbook for Vitalik, they wrote Steve Jobs 2.0. <laughs> when you put uh, a genius in all those disciplines and you combine that with a person of extreme integrity, it's a superhuman combination. This is the story of a child born in Russia who's now one of the most influential men on earth, Vitalik Buterin, the man behind the creation of Ethereum. As intriguing as he is brilliant, the 27-year-old's a mystery for those who don't know him and a visionary for others. The vision for Ethereum has always been going beyond finance. From Canada to Europe, we followed in his footsteps to understand his success story and to meet those closest to him, his dad, his mum, and also the man who first believed in him, Joseph Lubin. He had a reputation already, and then I found out that he was 19 years old, and I was pretty amazed. To know more about his childhood, you have to go to Canada's economic capital, Toronto. It's here in one of these skyscrapers that we meet with Dimitri Buterin, Vitalik's dad. At 49, he's also a tech entrepreneur. Here's about two months old, and that computer in the background that I think eventually became his toy. Uh, so here's him playing with uh, that old computer that we gave him. Uh, so this is Excel, and he's writing formulas and stuff. I'm not sure how old he's here, like maybe four. Dimitri moved to Canada in 1999, leaving Russia because he was uncertain about the country's future. Back then, Vitalik Buterin was just six years old. He was this uh, little guy in his pajamas. He's like looking around. And actually when he was um, uh, seven, he produced this uh, awesome document that's like uh, 20 pages long. And it's called uh, Encyclopedia of Bunnies, right? It's a whole universe, like, you know, here's bunnies, they live there, and here's the speed of light in the universe with charts and images. So when, when I looked at this, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. He was in the public school system uh, until uh, before high school, and he was in a gifted program, right? But you could also see that the public school system was not doing enough to support kind of his potential, right? Vitalik's parents decided to move him to an institution where he could make the most of his gifts, the Abelard School. Brian Blair, his former politics, Greek, Latin and philosophy teacher, remembers Vitalik's time in class as if it were yesterday. He looks young, I would say grade, grade 9 or 10 probably. But again, pensive. <laughs> Today, Vitalik Buterin's a role model to Abelard's students. He was actually the guy that inspired me to go into computer science. Hopefully I can create something like he did. But yeah, it's kind of daunting though. Yeah, it's daunting. It's yeah. a huge accomplishment. So. Yeah, exactly. He had this intellectual curiosity that um, is very rare. He wanted to learn things in real depth. I remember one time with, uh, we were reading Plato and he thought he had spotted a, you know, an error in Socrates' reasoning. I got him to uh, write it out for me. He almost proved that Socrates was wrong, so that was great. Yeah, he was, he was great to teach. Fantastic memory. He's good at visualizing things. And he worked hard, too. He really didn't have um, weaknesses as a student. After he graduated in 2012, he enrolled at Waterloo University to study computer science. That's around the time that he discovered Bitcoin, after his dad mentioned it to him. Vitalik became more and more interested in blockchain technology. Eventually, he even co-founded this publication. I kept a few Bitcoin magazines. And he is like 17, 18 years old, and I'm like, oh wow, he's a senior copywriter. His passion saw him eventually drop out of college after winning the prestigious Teal Fellowship, which won him $100,000 for his Ethereum project. An idea Vitalik developed in his white paper, The Bible of Ethereum, more than 30 pages, in which he explains that the Bitcoin blockchain is too limited. With Ethereum, the possibilities are limitless. He first presented his ideas to the world in 2015. Decentralized applications for finance, uh, cloud computing, mes messaging, and distributed governance are soon to come. 
Ethereum is a platform that is specifically designed for people to build these kinds of decentralized applications. Ether is based on this technology. The cryptocurrency launched in 2015. It quickly became a huge success, from 1.25 to around $4,338 today. But that's not all. Ethereum also allowed the creation of NFTs, a revolution in crypto art. And in the future, Vitalik even wants to develop social media. His idea basically changed the world and created a whole community that meets up a few times a year all around the globe. Recently, it was Portugal, in the beautiful streets of Lisbon, for the Ethereum convention. It's here that we meet Natalia Amelie, Vitalik's mum. She's in Lisbon with her longtime friend and business partner, Elena Sinanikova. Unsurprisingly, like her son, Natalia's a computer scientist. We were suspecting that, you know, he will uh, make some contributions um, in life, yeah, to society. As a kid, he was uh, super smart. He learned to read super early and, uh, you know, do the math very fast. I remember he was like a uh, year and a half or something like that. So we, we were having a party and there was these plastic cups on the table. And he started counting the, the, the cups, like first in Russian, like один, два, три, четыре. So he counted up to 20 and then he started counting in English, like one, two, three, four. It was like a year and a half years old. It was like, oh my God. <laughs> Unbelievable, yeah. Absolutely. I, I, I'm not a mother, but I'm so proud of you. <laughs> well, I'm super excited that uh, he uh, invented the project that uh, allowed for, ma for so many people to uh, go about and build their dreams, right? And uh, so we also are trying to build our dream, right? Elena got an idea of CryptoChicks. We were trying to set up a uh, Ethereum wallet and um, it, pro it uh, got proven to be a very difficult task. If, you know, the two of us with a computer science degree is having a difficult time, how hard it must be for other women. And hence the idea was born to uh, start an organization that will uh, help women to uh, learn about blockchain in a safe environment, have fun along the way, and, um, you know, grow together. Like them, Joseph Lubin came to Lisbon to meet with the community. He was one of the first to believe in Ethereum. The Canadian entrepreneur is now a guiding force in this fast-growing blockchain industry. Today, he advocates for decentralized technology, a far cry from his days working in traditional finance. I had been a technologist for most of my life, uh, but also spent some years in the finance industry, and I, I was growing increasingly disenchanted and depressed about uh, the financial state of the world, the economic state of the world, the geopolitical state of the world. Centralized systems um, uh, were morally and financially bankrupt. I got um, the tremendous potential of um, cryptocurrencies, blockchain, decentralized protocols from reading the initial Satoshi white paper. Um, but that technology was a very limited technology. Vitalik wrote his white paper in November of 2013. His vision was the most expressive, the most powerful uh, version of any that anybody had seen. It was a slam dunk to people who really understood what was going on. And so it was uh, very exciting uh, when I met Vitalik. It became very clear that it would be something that I uh, could choose to trade six or seven years of sleep for um, in, in order to, uh, to jump in and, and be heavily involved. Vitalik Buterin's awakened a passion in everyone gathered here at Lisbon's Botanical Garden. He's like icon and uh, I think every community needs their guts and uh, uh, <laughs> for example we can call uh, like a uh, blockchain, one of blockchain gods. I think Vitalik is someone that has a vision, he puts out papers, he puts out ideas and then other teams take it and make the product better, they own it. No one imagined that Facebook or Google or Amazon would be built on top of the internet and we're just at the beginning. A beginning of great things. Vitalik's supporters are convinced that his technology has not yet achieved even a fraction of its potential. All of the hard work, you know, it's finally coming to fruition. If you're a normal person, you don't understand what's going on. 
it's a cliche, but it's true, you know, the sky really is the limit. He clearly has a capacity to take more things on and contribute in many more ways, so I hope he does.